Hello and welcome and thank you for joining me today. So I got this, um, what I like to call download, um, spirit guiding me in sharing something that I've never shared before and just felt right to talk about. Um, a quick video on basically how being raw vegan has completely upended uh, my career. <laughs> Um, if you're new to this channel, my name is Tumi. I'm a medical doctor. I'm a poet. I'm a dancer. I'm passionate about holistic health and in supporting people and living their best, most conscious, their healthiest, and what I call their most delicious lives. If you're interested in videos on holistic health and well-being, minimalism, raw veganism, plant-based living, um, and or you enjoy dance, consider subscribing down below and definitely press the notifications bell next to the subscription button so you know when I upload videos. Let's get into it. So um, for the sake of time, honoring your time and uh, the fact right now I'm on vacation, um, which means that we're away from home. We're in Croatia by the seaside with family and it's been absolutely beautiful and I'm excited to get down to the sea. So I just wanted to make a quick video today around this topic because it came to me that, um, it comes to me often, but just I got even more appreciation during vacation because I've definitely um, lowered my work hours while we're on this trip and just how much I love the work that I do and how aligned with my heart it feels like. And it wasn't always that way. Um, so three ways I'll just share with you that raw veganism, this journey of being raw vegan, which I've been on now for 10 years, and you can find lots of videos on this channel around my journey, around what I eat. Um, but for the purposes of this video, I just want to share how being, eating a living foods, plant foods diet, um, and having that lifestyle, it's more than just the diet, but this lifestyle and the belief system and the practices have really just completely shifted my work life. First way I think is grounded in authenticity, right? So being raw, being vegan for me was a journey in being more who I truly am. Um, was eating what I believe is our species specific diet. Uh, fruit-based plant foods, um, anatomically, physiologically, nutritionally, botanically, um, evolutionarily, we really are frugivores. And so I felt that as I shifted to this diet, I was really eating as I was meant to be eating. And I'm going to just speak for me personally, right? Um, we're all on our own journeys and I'm just sharing my experience. Um, there's something also about eating this way. And if you have eaten this way, even, even for a short period of time, you know, this, it really just removes blockages. It takes away the numbing agents that a lot of us use processed food and animal products subconsciously or consciously for numbing out emotions, numbing out feelings. It takes away those blockages. So you really feel and you really, um, I feel have a deeper connection or can have a deeper connection with, se with self, with source, with spirit. And um, that allows for more authenticity. And so when that happened, I have become even more and more real in my work. What is, what is the work that I want to offer the world? How do I want to be of service? And that has kept on upgrading every single year um, to the point now that I'm doing work, only work that feels truly aligned with my heart, truly of utmost service that honors the gifts and talents and passions that I've been blessed with. What that looks like is as a medical doctor and a dancer, creating healing poem dances for individuals and for communities and for organizations and healing and art spaces. Um, poem dances that are basically healing dances that I create 
crafted from original poetry and that I then perform either alive or as video uh, videos or video installation for the healing of the person and persons who are watching them. If you're interested in more information around that, check my uh, description box down below. I'll leave a link to my website and more information on those dances with testimonials around that. So authenticity. Um, I'm also doing one-on-one -on -one sessions with clients and patients. I've done that for years, but they just keep up leveling, I believe, in their realness, in their rawness, and I think in their efficacy on having and helping and supporting people achieve their holistic health goals in a way that honors their spirit and their, their body, their well body that might be under a covering of illness and suffering. Second way, Raw veganism has really helped me upend my career in the best way possible and reframe it in, in a beautiful way. Courage. Um, being raw and being vegan is something that is not often done in this world. And whenever you do something that's against the grain, so to speak, it calls on your courage. And we all have it within. We all have that still small voice. We all have that drum within our, our rib cage that is asking to play and to have a beat that is unique. The, the question is, do we listen to that beat? And to do that, we have to be courageous. And so being raw and being vegan all over the world as I have been in so many different parts of the world, and for as long as I have been, 10 years now, has asked of me courage. And it's been so amazing and beautiful to answer the calling and step up. And that courage has helped me have the best health possible, um, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. And it has also helped me have a beautiful and continue to have a beautiful career in the work I do as a doctor and a dancer. It takes courage to flip one's career and to pivot in one's career. And I definitely did that. I walked away from the standard medical practice. I was not interested in spending just 10 to 15 minutes with my patients. I was not interested in just writing prescriptions and prescribing them pharmaceutical medications. Um, I wanted more for them. I wanted more, I want more for the world. And that is why a long time ago, I changed my medical practice. Um, that is why I started using um, nutrition and lifestyle and meditation and more and more dance um, as my tools in my doctor's bag, um, my stethoscope, um, poetry, dance, lifestyle, uh, nutrition, definitely using that to help empower people and living their best lives. And that takes courage, definitely, because there were times when um, people were saying, I don't understand, how, how can you do that? How does that work? I'm doubting, and I had to look within, and I had to pull um, on, my own, on my own life and look at my own healing. I talk about that in my book, Delicious Healing, and use those practices to heal myself so the physician healing herself first before then offering that medicine to others. So courage. And last but not least, um, empathy. Empathy. Raw veganism continues to uncover my empathy. I believe we're all empathic, loving beings at the heart of it. But when we, um, and this is my personal belief, when we imbibe in practices of violence, um, whether it's um, to ourselves, to other humans, or to other earthlings, to animals, to Mama Earth herself, uh, we can then suppress our loving nature. We can then destroy our loving nature. When I choose not to eat animals, when I choose not to embark on any of that or support practices that cause mother nature harm, that cause animals harm, I try to minimize that as much as possible through a living foods vegan diet and lifestyle. I get to practice ahimsa. I get to practice more and more nonviolence. And when I do that, 
when I've done that um, in these 10 years, and I've done that 100% vegan for 10 years now, 99.9% .9 raw for 10 years now, I just feel my nature, which is love. I feel my connection to every being more and more. I feel that it's an illusion that we are separate from one another. And that has been a blessing in my work as a holistic practitioner of the healing arts. Um, because when I dance, I think of that belief. I believe wholeheartedly that I am no different than the person for whom I'm dancing for. When I meet one-on-one -on -one with my clients and patients, my heart explodes with love and with empathy for what they are going through. So um, authenticity, courage, empathy, those are just three of the ways that raw veganism has turned my career upside down for the better, <laughs> has blessed my career and continues to. And so I, I meditate on that during my vacation as I'm working less right now during these these weeks, these couple of months away from um, our land and my creative studio. Um, yeah, I hope something of what I've shared with um, is of resonance with you. And if you're somebody who is on a plant-based or vegan or raw vegan journey, let me know down in the comments below. Let us know some way how that has shifted or blessed or upended your work life. I'm curious to know. I'd love to read that. Um, I send you so much love wherever in the world you might be. If you're interested in my book, I have an audiobook in which I read my book, Delicious Healing, an uh, audiobook I'm really proud of. Check that out in the description box down below if you haven't read or heard Delicious Healing yet. Um, definitely check out the healing poem dances that I offer. Um, and, and anything else on offer on my website. Take care, much love, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.